L minus seven minutes. Status check to proceed with terminal count. Respond go, no go. MEQ. Go. MEA. Go. HYE. Go. Locks one. Go. Locks two. Go. VP. Go. PNE. Go. BP. Go. ATC one. Go. PEA. Go. Fuel one. Go. Fuel two. Go. TM one. Go. ATC three. Go. TM two. Go. FMA. Go. VE. Go. EEA. Go. GE. Go. SYS. Go. DSE. Go. Timer. Go. ECS. Go. QE. Go. USO. Go. OSM. Go. VSE. VSE is go. ALC. Go. AC. AC is go. RC. Clear to proceed. Launch director. The launch vehicle is ready to launch. Mission director. You have permission to launch. Proceeding with the count. MEQ, establish swing arm lock pins, pull. Packet. SYS, establish record on change list, activated. Activated. Polling is complete, and the launch team has given the go for launch. The countdown will resume approximately 1 minute and 25 seconds from now. At T-minus 4 minutes and counting, the team will enter the terminal count and will begin securing the second stage liquid oxygen tank. At T-minus 3 minutes 32 seconds, booster liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen tank securing is started, which includes closing the propellant fill and drain valves. Also at T-minus 3 minutes 32 seconds, vehicle transfer from ground facility power to its own internal battery power will be complete. At T-minus 3 minutes, the vehicle ordnance system will be armed and booster liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen propellant tanks are verified to be at flight pressure and flight level. At 2 minutes prior to liftoff, the team will verify that the hydraulic system is pressurized as well as confirm, as well as confirm booster, DCSS, and flight termination system battery voltages. At T-minus 1 minute 20 seconds, the team will begin securing the second stage liquid hydrogen tank. At T-minus 60 seconds, the eastern range readiness is verified. At T-minus 50 seconds, the DTSS liquid hydrogen tank is secured at flight level. A final launch vehicle status and spacecraft status check is conducted at T-minus 30 seconds. At T-minus 15 seconds, the ROFIs, or sparklers, are ignited to burn off excess hydrogen at the base of the vehicle. Liftoff will occur at T-0. Following liftoff, we'll hear Steve Agid providing launch vehicle ascent data. The countdown clock has resumed, and we are go for launch at 1.51 p.m. Eastern. T minus three minutes, 14 seconds. CBC pre-press started. Three minutes, seven seconds. T minus three minutes. Vehicle ordnance arming. Vehicle ordnance armed. CPC locks at flight pressures and flight level. T minus two minutes, 14 seconds.
T minus two minutes. TPA script running. Hydraulic press at 4,000. CBC OH2 at flight pressure and flight level. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. In range are go for launch. T minus one minute, 20 seconds. Second stage, LH2 securing started. T minus one minute. Engine Starbucks go. Rock, report range status. Range green. T minus 50 seconds. Upper stage LH2 secure flight level. 45. Launch enabled. GE main power off. Main power off. 40. 35. 30. Status check. Go Delta. Go NRL 37. Greenboard. 25. Light lock in. 20. 15. Profi ignition. T minus 10. 10. 9, 9. 8. 8 7, 7. 6. 6. 5. 4. We have main engine ignition. 2. One and lift off. Lift off of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying the NROL 37 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Pressure holding in the port and starboard booster in the full thrust mode and in the port booster in the partial thrust mode. Altitude now passing 9.2 nautical miles, velocity 2,533 feet per second, downrange distance 4.96 nautical miles. One minute, 49 seconds in. We're listening to Steve Agate providing launch vehicle ascent data. Hydrazine uh, pressurization valve is now on in the second stage as second stage systems are coming online. Passing two minutes, seven seconds. Altitude now passing 15.8 nautical miles. Velocity 3,854 feet per second. Downrange distance 11.51 nautical miles. Two minutes, 20 seconds in. Still looking good. Good uh, symmetrical chamber pressures in the port and starboard boosters in the full thrust mode. Good chamber pressure in the core in the partial thrust mode. Two minutes, 35 seconds. Two minutes, 40 seconds in. The Delta IV rocket now only weighs one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at the rate of 4,889 pounds per second. Two minutes, 50 seconds in.
Mark, two minutes, 56 seconds, just passing Mach 5. Vehicle now traveling five times the speed of sound. Is approaching three minutes, three seconds in. Altitude now passing 29.5 nautical miles. Velocity 7,815 feet per second. Downrange distance 54 nautical miles. Three minutes, 18 seconds in. Still looking good. Engine control is good in the first stage. About 15 seconds from now, we'll expect the uh, port and starboard booster to toggle to the partial thrust mode. Standing by for that command to go to partial thrust and port and starboard. And we see the partial thrust commode. The command is good. Thrust levels dropping in the port and starboard as expected. Standing by for cutoff. And we see cutoff in the Port and starboard booster, standing by for separation, and separation. Port and starboard boosters have separated from the core booster. And we've ramped up to full power mode in the core. Good full power mode in the core. Four minutes, 17 seconds in. We have about one minute remaining in uh, first stage flight. 